my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa and today I am walking you through our new house here in Portland, Maine. Um, it's actually not the house that I'm sitting in right now. I am living in a short-term rental right now with my husband, Matt, and Trevi, of course, and baby boy on the way. And we purchased a home um, a couple miles from here that we are going to be doing some renovations on. So I'm excited to kind of walk you through the house and show you it empty. And I talk a little bit about some of the renovations that we're doing, and then I will share how that process goes on this channel as well. It's the first time that we have done any sort of renovations. Um, you might, if you follow this channel for a while, you know that we own another house in Vermont, which we use as an Airbnb property, and we didn't have to do any work on that house. But this house needs some work, so we're excited to dive into the renovations, and I'm excited to give you a tour. Welcome to our new home. It's gonna be pretty echoey in here because there's no furniture, but I wanted to give you an empty house tour to share what it looks like now and talk through some of the renovations that we're doing, and then we'll show you before and after a video months in the future when it's done. So come on in. This is the living room space. Um, we'll have a TV, couch, etc. This is a nice, just like open common space. And then we'll walk through here. So the living room leads right into the dining room. This house was built in 1890, so I don't know if these are original, but it definitely has a little bit of charm, which is great. <laughs> One of the first projects that we're gonna do is update the kitchen, which I'll show you in a second, but this wall is gonna go. So it will be one big open space, um, which we're really excited about. And it will just make this whole kind of living, dining, kitchen much more flowing together. So let's go into the kitchen. It's a little outdated, but that will change. So we're basically reconfiguring this space as simply as possible. So taking out the wall that I just walked through, um, we are gonna get rid of the stove over here and move it actually into the peninsula. We'll have new appliance, a new fridge here that will be set back a little bit more. And then we'll have like a pantry wall of cabinets here and then a little coffee station on the other side of the fridge. Um, in this space, since it's going to be this wall over here is going to be open, there will be the stove and cabinets. We'll have a sink. We're going to add a dishwasher. We're going to have two upper cabinets here and new flooring. So we're hoping that it's not going to be a major, major renovation. A friend of ours said that the flooring looks like reptile snake skin. <laughs> so we're definitely going to update that. You can see some of the ideas that we have down here with cabinets and flooring, but I will definitely be taking you along for the process of renovating and showing you just like how it works and I think maybe talking through budget. Um, let me show you what we're doing here. So this door currently goes out into just like a little I guess you would call it an entryway. Um, this space is not insulated, so what we're gonna do is remove this door, insulate this space, and kind of turn it into like a little mudroom area. Um, we'll have some cubbies and hanging, like whatever, um, hooks and stuff, and um, the flooring will run continually into there, and hopefully it just makes this whole entryway a little bit more seamless. So now let's go upstairs. So welcome to the second floor. This floor is where all the bedrooms and the bathroom currently is. The layout of this space is two bedrooms, two full bedrooms, a little office and one bathroom. So this is gonna be baby's room. It gets great light, which obviously is not ideal for a sleeping baby. So we'll do blackout curtains. Um, the crib is gonna go over in this space. I'm thinking of doing kind of like a fun decal on this wall and this wall, I think. Um, maybe just this wall, I haven't decided yet. And then we're gonna get a glider, um, a little dresser, a nice rug, and probably some bookshelves and things like that for book, books and toys. And this feels like a great space for um, the baby. So then this way. 
Um, this is a full bath, our only full bath in this house for now. Um, it's getting updated for sure. Um, we're doing flooring, new vanity, uh, new toilet, obviously, taking out these things and putting a, meta, a more updated medicine cabinet because it doesn't have a ton of storage. So larger vanity, um, updated medicine cabinet, updated light fixtures, walls, etc. cetera, um, new window at some point. Um, and then luckily the uh, tub shower is like fairly updated, so we're not gonna do anything with that. So hoping that this is a pretty simple and quick renovation, really more of an update than a renovation. And then back this way is where Matt and I will sleep, um, for now at least. It's, you know, if it's a king size bed, it's pretty simple. We're not doing much work in here. I think it's just gonna get a paint job and um, maybe we will paint the radiator and potentially DIY the closet, which like needs some help. We might fix that up ourselves, um, but otherwise this room isn't really getting touched. Um, actually, one other project that we are doing throughout the whole house uh, is refinishing the floors. So that's also gonna hopefully give it a nice little pop and shine when we're ready to move in. This is the little office space. Um, we're hoping to be able to keep it as an office for now, but because I'll show you upstairs. Um, but if the project that we have planned for upstairs is not able to get completed, this will be a guest room while we're doing the work upstairs. But it's a small room. It would fit like a double bed over in that corner. Um, we're going to fix some of the cracking on the walls, which is from old plaster. Um, this house, all of the walls is are plaster because it was built so long ago. So it cracks sometimes and we're going to do some patching in there and more paint. And that's pretty much all we're going to do in here. So the last space and one of the reasons we were so excited to get this house is that we have access to the attic, which is an unfinished space that we're hoping to finish. So I'm going to take you up here and kind of share what our plans are. So welcome to our attic. Um, this space is one of the reasons we are so excited about this house because it has so much potential and it really would add uh, almost five to 600 additional square feet to our living space. So what we're hoping to do, well, our initial plan was to renovate this whole space and add a bedroom, a bathroom, and, you know, basically build the whole thing out. Um, based on numbers that we've gotten, we're thinking of now doing this in phases um, because that initial plan is just a little bit over budget for right now. Um, so what we're thinking of just starting with potentially is just finishing this space. So insulating, which will really help obviously also with efficiency of everything like the heating and just keeping this place a little bit more tight from an air perspective. Um, and then basically just finishing the space. So adding drywall up the ceilings. Um, we're gonna add in some new support beams and put some flooring down and hopefully just call it a day from there. So the house is really getting like three big updates, the kitchen, the bathroom, and this space. Um, so yeah, let's go downstairs and that's going to be that. All right. So now that you have walked through the house with us, I wanted to just share just maybe some of the reasons why we chose to buy this house in particular, um, in case you're curious. So the first was that it is a duplex. Actually, we wanted to buy a multifamily unit here in Portland so that we could offset some of our housing costs. We were able to find this house, which is a standalone house on its own but then it's divided in two down the middle so there is a an apartment on one side which is two beds and one bath and then the side that we're living on which you just saw is the two beds one bath with the office and then the attic space which we're hoping to finish <laughs> so that was number one and then number two was we really wanted a project or a house that we could put some renovation equity into so that down the line um, we can add more value to it. Kitchen, bathroom, those kind of things add great value to a house right on 
kind of right off the bat. So that's gonna be really great. And then adding more square footage is also a big help. Outside, which I am not gonna show just for privacy purposes, we also are doing exterior painting, which does help with the home value and also gonna add a roof at some point, which will also add. So we were excited to kind of put in some equity, so to speak, so that we can pull it out down the line. We also um, were excited about this house because of the location. It's close to downtown Portland, but not downtown downtown so that we're not like spending the downtown Portland prices um, but it's within a five minute drive to downtown and then also in the neighborhood that we're in there's some great places to walk we have a nice yard we have access to walking to like a bagel shop and coffee shops and restaurants so we're really excited about the area as well and it also is a great place to long-term rent which is ultimately the plan with this house we will live in it for a few years we're gonna obviously do the renovations live in it and then um, whenever we're ready to either grow our family or move on to the next project we'll keep this house and rent out both sides and then we will have another cash flowing vehicle for our us in our real estate portfolio so we have the vermont house which is one of those and then this house hopefully and then who knows what's coming in the future. Um, so those were kind of our criteria and that's what we were interested in finding. We are really lucky to find this house and we're really excited to embark on this project. And I think I am going to be, I mentioned this last fall, but potentially starting a new channel, which I'll talk more about when I end up launching it, but that channel would really focus on kind of the financial side of this house, which I think and the other house that we have and other stuff in general, but sharing kind of like how we're budgeting for renovations, the process of that and other stuff. So if there is specific topics that you're curious on that is more on the like finance side of this house or um, this type of property in general or renovations, um, drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to kind of try to answer them through text, but potentially in future videos on that new channel if and when we decide to start it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. We're excited to bring you along for this process, hoping that in the next few weeks, the bathroom will be started and then the kitchen will hopefully be started in March. So, um, you know, you'll get some vlogging behind the scenes and we'll definitely do before and afters of both of those spaces and talk through the specific projects. So. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe, of course, and I'll see you next week for another brand new video. Bye!